Why was a New Mexico man found dead in Mesa when he was supposed to be getting treatment for addiction? Tonight on Fox 10 investigates another family impacted by this sober living housing crisis in Arizona. Native Americans and other vulnerable people battling addiction continue to be recruited and brought to the valley. Fox 10 investigator Justin Lum with more tonight on how loved ones are searching for answers. The case of 32-year-old Fernando Largo is a sad one. He wanted to get sober and turn his life around. Instead, he died of an overdose, and due to the circumstances around his death, his family wants someone held accountable. Miski Sotaro Yatsati has been a longtime advocate for missing members of the Navajo community. And this past year, families have been searching for Native Americans in Arizona, where authorities say indigenous people from New Mexico, Montana, the Dakotas, and Alaska are recruited to get so called treatment for addiction. The alleged scheme involves signing individuals up for Medicaid benefits as organizers have already defrauded the state for nearly a billion dollars, charging Access, Arizona's Medicaid agency, for therapy services that are rarely provided. In many cases, victims are enticed with alcohol or drugs, kept in shady sober living homes, according to the FBI. Now the state is cracking down with suspensions of payments to more than 200 providers believed to be involved in Medicaid fraud. Miski says she warned her nephew, Fernando Largo, about predators, but he went missing out of Church Rock, New Mexico. And by March 7th, it was too late. Our minds are just scattered. You took a life from us. You took our relative from us. You had no right to do that. And for us that are advocates, I guarantee you that we are not going to stop looking for our relatives. Did you have any inkling that he would be found in Arizona? I did suspect it, and also his mom did too. Um, she suspected that because she did get some mail, um, and his last location with his phone call was in Arizona. Mail that Priscilla Largo received came from Access, Arizona's health care cost containment system, and the Department of Economic Security, requesting more information. Fernando's mother does not know if he ended up enrolled in Arizona's Medicaid program. Are you very confident that your son, Fernando, is a victim of the sober living scheme? Yes, I believe so. It's unknown who picked Fernando up after he told his mom he wanted to seek help. And he says, Mom, I love you so much that, you know, I'm really thinking about changing. But phone calls slowly stopped after he arrived in the Phoenix area. That's so strange that after um, him being so happy and all of a sudden I don't get another phone call. Fox 10 obtained the police report on Fernando's death from Mesa PD. On March 7th, just after 6 that morning, police responded to the Regency Inn near Main Street and Alma School Road. Just two days prior, Priscilla says her son left one last voicemail and sounded like he was under the influence of drugs. I know there was somebody talking in the back, but I couldn't hear him. It was very low. The police report says the man who called 911 reported that Fernando overdosed inside room 108. Officers found him lying flat on his back and medics pronounced him dead at the scene. Mesa PD says the room was rented by a sober living company called Opportunity Changes Communities, located three miles away. Why put him in a motel if this is a legitimate treatment center? It should be a facility, not a motel. According to the Department of Health Services, Opportunity Changes Communities is licensed as an outpatient treatment center. DHS approved the facility near Country Club and University Drives to provide behavioral health services and adult counseling last December. We reached out to Opportunity Changes Communities regarding Fernando, but were told no comment. The county's medical examiner determined Fernando died due to combined effects of fentanyl, methamphetamine, and alcohol intoxication. The manner listed as accidental. Mesa police closed the case. How does that make you feel to know that police have closed the case? I still think this is a criminal case that needs to be investigated more. 
if he was left with all those drugs in his system and left alone in a very run-down motel room, somebody's at fault for that. Who left him there? Police say an employee for Opportunity Changes Communities last saw Fernando when she brought him food the night before he was found dead. She told detectives Fernando was staying in the room by himself and appeared to be in good health. But closing the case is not enough for loved ones. It doesn't make sense. There's so many questions that we need to have answered. We reached out to Mesa PD about the case, asking why it's closed. A statement reads in part, quote, after looking at the scene in conjunction with video surveillance, as well as the final disposition from OME listing the manner of death as accident, the case was closed because there was no foul play suspected. I'm Justin Lum for Fox 10 Investigates. If you have a tip for us, email Fox 10 Investigates at fox.com and see all of our reports, you can do that. Just scan the QR code on your screen.